Chris. Are you gonna come in it? No. Come on. No. Come on. I'm standing. Come on. Hi guys, welcome to the first day of Addington Premier League. Woo! 2019. Because this is actually the third. No, because we missed last year. Yeah. Two years ago. No, is it two years ago? Mum. I don't know. Would that be two years ago or three years ago? I don't think we've been for two years, so it was either one. Anyway, let me start again. Must have been two. So basically, this is the... I think I did one of my first vlogs at Addington, like show vlogs, which is really exciting. Um, so here we are again. Uh, we've got Wilfred and Eagle with us. Wilfred is doing the Inter 2 today and... Sorry, did I just say Eagle? No. Wilf is doing the Inter 2 today and Eagle is doing the PSG and then we've got another two days here after that. Um, but yeah, today's the big day because I've got the Inter 2 and I've only done one. I'm a little bit scared, but it'll be good. Um, so we have already walked the horses out, uh, taken them for a little stroll around and now what we're going to go and do is walk Wilfred on him um, down to the arena. Now he does have a big old issue with there's this massive track you have to get down I'll show you later and he does get a little bit nervous going down there so um trying to figure out how to get him down there but anyway once we do I'm going to give him a little stretch because he's not on until 3.20 and then I'm going to come back then I'm going to get Eagle ready then I'm get on Eagle then I'm going to compete Eagle then I'm going to get off Eagle then I'm going to get Wolf ready then I'm going to get on Wolf compete him so it'll be a lot of doing and throwing <laughs> I, I thought it would be sensible to walk him down first time. I think it would be a good idea to try it. What's happened to my camera? Oh, there we go. How are you feeling about this show? Morning campers. Campers? Um, oh, you're so cute. I'm cold. Oh, look! Just to get warm again. When I was little, I used to like tickling under here. The double chin. No, it's soft skin. Oh, all the wrinkly. No, no, it's soft. zoomed in my new saddle sexy yay They've moved the track through a wood, which is much more, it's much shorter. So I think I'll survive now. Yay! We love Addington now. Oh, it goes straight into an arena. That's so much better. Right? Sweet. <laughs> Plat this one up. So we made it. Are we ready to rock and rumble? Come on. We are gonna get dressed now. Ready to compete. And then I'll tell you how Smeavy's been going and all that sort of thing, how I'm feeling. And then 
We'll go get them ready. And we'll go ride around. Looking pretty. Great, so they've just done a prize giving just as the Eagle's bell rang, which is really not good news for Olivia because he's very sensitive to clapping. She may have to sit tight through the beginning of this.
expensive um he warmed up he was quite nervous actually in the warm-up but he settled down and was fine and then i got him into the test and there was a prize giving i know i'm not trying to play the victim or anything but it's just the facts there was a prize giving and he is quite noise sensitive so they all clapped and he just lost the plot and that's before i start the test so anyway then i they'd rung the bell and i had to start and in the trot it worked really well except for that extended where he broke twice um, in the trot it worked well because he was like, yeah, powerful. Um, it felt quite like dodgy. I was definitely on a wing and a prayer. Um, but then in the canter, he just, he doesn't get more expressive when he's hot, he gets tighter. Um, so for the changes and stuff, he gets too tight behind. Um, the canter pirouette, he gets too wormy and tight behind. So I just couldn't, couldn't get him um, for that. And that's why he had massive mistakes in that. <sighs> so of course I'm, super disappointed really disappointed um sorry someone's just walked past and the old typical thing of when you come out of test and it's gone badly is like what could i what have i done wrong like what why has this happened what what should i have done differently and i mean the first thing that i was thinking is like we don't work them thoroughly enough uh so it's a really difficult one because it's Friday today so Monday I worked him Tuesday they had hack day because Wednesday we had saddle fitting all day so I had to ride them but the thing is with saddle fitting you're not really working them it's kind of like it's very light work Thursday which was yesterday I knew that he had to then compete for three days so I didn't want to push him I was like just backed off and I rode him for like 25 minutes 30 minutes did what I needed to do um, because he's set up for the PSG and then um, today's Friday and I didn't work him here yesterday um, and he's competing Friday, Saturday and Sunday today he was off his rocker because he's got too much energy because he hasn't had any consistent work but I'm like, I don't I don't know what to do I don't know how to to work that well the other thing as well that's plaguing me is the fact that I haven't had a lesson on him for, oh my gosh I think I haven't had a lesson with him for like seven weeks, a very long time. Wilf, I think, has been about a month. And I just feel like I'm, I don't know, I feel like so out of it. And it's a horrible feeling. And before Myers Co., which was, you know, that show that I had a really good run with, I had um, had loads of lessons with Kate and Carl. And they'd like geared me up really well because they're just incredible trainers. And also, um, Kate had warmed me up on Eagle and really helped me and it just made, I know it makes a big difference and like the results obviously show that it makes a big difference and I guess I just I get a bit despondent because it's not something that I can actively change myself I can't like I've asked um, for the space and stuff with training but they're extremely busy as well because they're competing so it's nothing I can like actively go and pursue and change if that makes sense and I just feel like oh I don't know I see the riders that have um you know that like say underneath a big rider that sounds really wrong let me rephrase that you see riders that work for the big riders and they kind of mentor them so you know you see them like taking them down to the arena with them warming them up they've prepped them before um and it's so like ah. Uh, and I look at that and I'm like, should I have should I have just gone and worked in a big yard and done that? And have I just done it all the wrong way around? Because if you look at a lot of the top riders, that's how they've done it. 
they've started as riders for someone. Oh my gosh, I just... <sighs> I don't know, guys. It's just one of those things I'm going to have to work through. Okay, we're going to go and plat sausage up. Thanks, Kate well, is helping me warm up for this one though, so along the way. John hopefully that goes eight. well. <laughs> Look at his little plaid. <laughs> to do the inter two. Oh my days. Yes, we're doing another one. Um, I want to go to bed. Do you know, I'll talk to you about it after because we need to go and tuck up. Mum is tired. I love you. Yeah. She said she's got sleep deprivation. the canter gets some exercise it's so canter sit on your bum sit up be like proud and canter good you know oh, you're gonna need one. to canter him bring him back go on tell him back But I figured it's not on me, yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver, your hands on myself I keep pulling the trigger, alright This very finger for people like them, oh no, no But darling, oh my, my, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now Go on, use the energy, go on, ride it into him I'm like a golden crown, whirling high I don't pick at the reins up until the last minute. You know it's going to be up, so don't touch the reins. Like them. Oh, 
one don't let them pull you out you see half halt back this will keep him quiet energy to get behind your leg and you've got to use this to push his energy up Shit, sit it on its ass. Okay guys, you see this dog here? I just spoke to the owners and she's from Romania and um, she got her from the same rescue centre as Lulu came from. How funny is that? <laughs> Romanians have something for being long. Sorry that you're slightly on the wonk, but um, so much has happened since I last filmed, but it's like, I don't know. I, I haven't had a moment to like explain it. So I was really upset after I got off Wilf. I just felt like such a mess when I was riding around and I was just really disappointed that he kicked off down the centre line. I was like, mum didn't film that bit by the way, sorry, she missed it. But I was just like, come on, like, it's taken me years to calm you down, why are we getting like this? Um, and I was really excited to get in the arena because Kate had warmed me up and she'd like, got me in a really positive frame of mind that's why I absolutely love about Kate she is so positive 
and she makes you like really believe in yourself and she's really like chilled out about stuff and because I have a tendency to overthink things she's perfect for me so anyway I went into the test and I was like right come on we can do this and it'd be good in the warm-up like quite tight and excitable but we'd work through it anyway I got him in the test and he kicked off down the center line and then there was just annoying things that made us lose like massive marks like I got a three from all judges for the center line um, both counter corrects I just rode too small because Kate watched the video after she said that too small so I got like fours for that it's double marks he jogged in his walk and he got three and that's a double mark so for all the double mark things we got like really bad um, but for things like the Piaf and Passage like for the Piaf he got 7.5 and the Passage he got a 7 um, his ones he got a 7 and I'm like I literally can't believe this these are the things that are like hard shush mum so anyway I came back and I was I was, I was just really upset um, I was like mortified and then the thing is when I'm upset mum and me always fall out because I don't know I think that's just a normal thing isn't it so she was upset oh and then I was just like right there's some big thing needs to change and I was like going off on one I was like I've got too much on in life I'm not focusing enough on my riding I was like I need to have a massive life shift and this is when I start thinking like I need to just stop everything else and just focus on riding which would be amazing wouldn't it but like you can't just stop doing things you need to like you know earn money and you know what I'm saying anyway um and then I would I was really upset and I was in this like really dark deep hole and then a knock on the door came and it opened it up and it was Kate and she's like oh should we look through a test I was like okay anyway so we start watching through it she's like oh you know you should have just had him a little bit rounder there and then she's like that's a good medium chart she's like really good zigzag she's like oh really good massage really good pf and then she's like um just watching through it with me and she's like oh for all the things that you know i'm beating myself up massively and like crawling into a deep dark hole about she's like oh you just need to like push him off your leg there a little bit like you know in the walk yield him in the extended bit before you get to that other um the collective walk and he'll be with you and then she's like you know when he go went to take off into the left half bus she's like you know you need to prep it around the corner like so it seems really small little silly things that will make a massive difference and then when she said that i was like completely calm and happy it's so weird isn't it how like one like one person can do that make for a better night for me but that's what's just incredible isn't it like having support of like people that you like look up to when they take that time to support you and kind of pat you on the back and be like it's okay and like encourage you it makes the world of difference to what i'm doing and that's why again it makes me even more happy to what i'm doing on social media because if i can make other people feel the way she just made me feel after a rubbish test then it's amazing because yeah and anyway it was just great so um we're excited for tomorrow we're gonna crack on we're gonna not play the victim we're gonna push on and uh, now we're gonna have some dinner aren't we no you're gonna have a shower first Oh, I'm going to have a shower first. No, I'm not allowed, Chris. What am I doing? I'm going to have a shower first.